is simply going to be the start of building value for going between uprights. I think sometimes we spend an awful lot of time building value for contacts, building value for weave pulls, and we just sort of assume that our dog is going to take jumps. I want to build value for going between uprights. So again, as he's released and he's approaching this jump, I'm simply going to click and toss a treat. He eats his cookie, turns around, click and toss a treat. Moving exercise. I like to think of there being a beginning, a middle, and an end. I try not to continue to click in one location more than a couple of times in a row. If I always click the approach, I'm probably going to get a hesitation on the approach of a jump. Because the puppy's going to say, something happens here. Sometimes the click happens there. Sometimes it happens here. Sometimes it happens on the landing side. With your new puppies that have not done this in here, in all likelihood today, you may in fact be clicking the approach a little bit more than twice in a row. Okay. Do pay attention to where I'm locating myself. I am in a neutral position. I'm neither on the landing nor the takeoff side of the jump. Okay. That's for future down the road handling. Okay. I don't want my dog learning that if I'm here, stationary, that they should jump in extension, ignoring my stationary cue. Okay. When we were at the cone, Cheryl asked if that cone work was building to some other things. And my answer was absolutely yes. I don't want you doing this on the jump with your puppies yet, but that cone work, when you get those multiple circles, scandal. Good boy. Sending to back of jump. Sending to front of jump, tight wraps. Okay, but that all started with his cone work. 